but that might end up being too dangerous and I might chicken out so the whole thing might just sit on a uh, like a bracket like you know a display case and then you have beautiful arcs of lightning coming off of the front of it. I have made some crazy projects over the years. Some of them I've done for work, a few I've done just for myself. But my favorite part has always been the brainstorm, where you take these crazy ideas and fantasies and you figure out how to really make them work. I've got a super fun one for you today. Uh, the new Star Wars movie, there's a weapon in it that just really caught my eye. But there's a stormtrooper, he flicks out a weapon and he fights um, Finn who's holding a lightsaber. He actually blocks the lightsaber with it. It looks like a tonfa or a baton and it's got these these plasma arcs at the end of it. It looks awesome and I'm gonna build one. The cool thing about this brainstorm is I'm actually gonna build one for the Make YouTube channel. So if everything goes right, there'll be a link in the description below for you to click on and actually see it built. Uh, that'll probably be released before this, but it'll be interesting to see how my ideas right here, right now, change and become the real thing. Like, what do I come up with now that actually works? I don't know, we'll see. This is, this is fun. So, let's get to it. So the weapon itself is, uh, it's shaped kind of like, it's got these kind of crossbars and a handle sticking out. Okay, here's the handle. Here's where you hold on to it. And these crossbars also fold in this way. So there's two parts to this. There's the part where I have to make the mechanical folding linkage, and then there's the plasma arcs. So let's tackle this folding linkage here. I've got some ideas. I think if I do, let's say if we're looking down at the actual, the top of the, um, this part here, the actual frame, here's a side view. Do, 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 do. That's where I've cut a hole through it, okay? I'm gonna slide a piece of PVC through there that'll act as our, hinge, basically. And then I'm actually going to notch that PVC so it fits like this. And this is what's going to lock it in place. If I notch it, hopefully it ends up sticking back like this and that notch catches there and it'll hold it facing forward pretty solid. But to get that swinging out effect, I need to be able to flip it around this way and I'll have a little catch up here that holds it in place. So even just gravity would theoretically work if I clicked it down, but what I need is a spring inside of it pulling on this to ensure that it flips around and gets pulled up against uh, the, the frame piece here to hold it in place. That's the theory. That's how I think I'm going to make the mechanical flippy outy part. Just the technical term, flippy outy. Alright, so step one, done. Step two though, the plasma arcs. On the actual weapon, which is kind of shaped like that in the video, there are these plasma arcs that go in here. I'm going to use a pretty blue. So there's plasma arcs there. Um, and the handle comes off this direction. Okay, so I think I can do that. There's two ways off the top of my head that I would do it. Both involve high voltage. Uh, the first would be a DC uh, Tesla coil. That's a Tesla coil that runs off of like a battery pack, like an 18 or 24 volt battery pack. It's totally doable. I've seen some amazing ones out there. Unfortunately, I only have two weeks, so I don't think I can use that. But if I were, this is how I would do it. Uh, basically with a Tesla coil, the larger your coil, the better your spark. There's a lot more to it than that, but this has a lot of room for a coil. So if that's the main body, and then you put a little place here for your spark, you got your, your thingy majiggers coming off here. And then with a DC Tesla coil, you would get stuff coming out like that. And you could put um, grounded points here connected by wire back to your circuit to make it kind of go to those points. And that would be awesome. That would be the idea ideal way I would do it because that would allow you to like run around with it and hold it and it's relatively safe. Um, so man, I really wish I could do it that way. Unfortunately, like I said, I only have about two weeks to do this and I don't have enough experience with those 
to bang one out in two weeks and test it and get all the, um, you know, get all the bugs worked out and build the prop and cram it in there. So I got to do a little bit more dangerous rep. The more dangerous way, which I don't recommend for anybody, but it's gonna work for this prop. It's kind of a, a fallback because it's cool and impressive is neon sign transformers. They put out between eight and 20,000 volts for the ones you can find. You can find them all over, dirt cheap or free. So I'll get a neon sign transformer. Here's my neon sign transformer. And then uh, I've got this whole prop already built. So here's the weapon in prop form you know, just PVC and, and whatever else I use, wood, anything non-conductive. Uh, so here it is, built, and I run wires up from the neon sign transformer out to these, and I basically build a Jacob's Ladder. I run metal wire up each one of these, have a really close point here at the beginning, and then when I kick it on, I get, just like in a Jacob's Ladder, some electricity, that goes that way. Some nice, big, beautiful plasma arcs. Um, I know that'll work. It'll be beautiful. So that's the way I'm gonna go because I only have two weeks. I gotta do what I know works. That's what I'm gonna do. Ideally, I'd like to be able to hold it while I do it, which means I have to hide the transformer behind me or find one small enough to fit inside the mechanism, inside the, the body of this thing. Since I doubt I'll find one that small, I'll probably have one on the workbench behind me run with wires to it that you just can't see from the front so I can hold it. But that might end up being too dangerous and I might chicken out so the whole thing might just sit on a uh, like a bracket like you know a display case and then you have beautiful arcs of lightning coming off of the front of it. So either way I'm gonna build this thing and it's gonna kick ass. Ooh.